All right, guys, this video should be interesting. So we're gonna try something new. Normally I use my regular Mr. Buddy heater on low and it keeps me pretty warm. This on low is only 4,000 BTU. Supposedly this three candle is actually 5,000 BTU. So this should actually be warmer than that on low. I'm also gonna be running this one, which is like, I think 1600 BTU. So we should have a total of about 6,600 BTU. So we should be really warm and toasty. We're also gonna try out this Radiant portable campfire. This is like all wax and I guess you light these and it's supposed to be like a little campfire thing. So I got to put this away and I'll see you guys out there. Well guys, I got this uh, candle campfire thing going. It's putting off quite a bit of heat. Kind of in this like enclosed area, I figured maybe that would help with wind or whatever. I think I'm gonna actually move it over here because I feel kind of trapped. Supposedly, you can just put the top back on it and it'll just like go out. So let's do that. Well, we got her moved here. I just feel uh, more open over here. It doesn't look like anybody's at these cabins, which is pretty sweet. Got a bathroom here. Last week, I actually stayed at this spot here, but then I saw this spot and I was like, oh, it's a little bit farther back in the woods. So that's why we're here. I actually walked down this path last week and it was like completely cleared out, but you can tell it snowed some more. This spot does have an actual fire pit, which I would love to use. But like I said, I'm just trying something different. It's going all candles for heat today. And I saw this online and thought it was pretty cool. So figured why not try it out? Time to light these candles and see if we can warm it up in the van. I do have the, all the window shades on except for those back two because I'm gonna crack those windows for airflow. It's like you just take the bottom off of this. I'm gonna light this actually on the ground. Got it locked in place. Ooh, I can already feel the heat. Well, we got them hanging up here. It doesn't feel like it's putting off too much heat that I have to worry about it, like burning anything up there. And I got this one just hanging on there. But see, there's nothing really below it. Um, I mean, here there's, you know, not much that's gonna really uh, be an issue. Not only do I have a carbon monoxide detector, but I also have a smoke detector tonight. So now it's time to open these windows, make sure we keep fresh air in here. Also got a berry waffle cone candle here. Ooh, the fire's getting bigger. That's kind of cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's putting off even more heat now. This little campfire thing is actually getting kind of nice. The fire is actually like twice as big as it was when I first lit it. Ooh. Puts off some black smoke, but it doesn't really stink as bad as like regular black smoke from a fire. 
Let's check and see if there's any temperature difference yet. The snow is starting to melt. That's good. Where are we at? 38.22. So, so far, it's definitely not uh, super warm in here, but look how peaceful it is. I think there is one more vehicle. You can see it right. You can kind of see it right there. So, there is one more person out here, but so far, I'm almost completely on my own. I know I'm spoiled. I got a bathroom that's like 50 feet away from my van, but uh, hey, might as well use it while we have it. Look how beautiful that is. I love it when it gets dark like this, guys. Predators come out, but it's just, I don't know, it's just peaceful for me. It's like you can still see a little bit in the woods, but look at this. Feels so good. It's actually putting off a decent amount of light, surprisingly. Other than that, it's getting real dark out here. We're basically by ourselves in the middle of the woods. We do have our nice safe van we will be climbing in, but I want to make sure this thing burns all the way out. I just don't want to reuse it. I just want to use it one time, enjoy it, and then we'll go inside the van. Another guy actually just pulled up over there in a big truck. Well, this thing's just about done, so uh, I'm going to let this finish burning up. I think I'm going to head into the van here because uh, it's getting chilly. So let's put this chair away. guys so i just climbed in the van and so far it is freezing in here i can see my breath so i'm thinking maybe it's because i have these tops on uh, candles because it's actually 32 inside and 21 outside so i am not warm right now so let's see if we can change this So I'm thinking maybe the reason why it's not putting up as much heat as I'm thinking is because of these pads on the top. Maybe there'd be more airflow or the heat would be able to escape more. So I'm going to try to take this one off. The temperature is actually slowly rising. What I did is I shut one window, put the window shade on. So that one's still open, obviously. And then this one, I took this metal thing off, which is like for cooking. I don't know if it'll make a difference, but it'll be easier for the heat to come out. I do feel heat, but it's not like a lot. This one feels quite a bit more, obviously gonna try this Campbell's chunky steak and potato we'll see if this can actually make this nice and warm I got the soup in there Let's see if this uh, warms up pretty good. Well, just chilling in my coat because like I said, I'm only gonna use candles for heat tonight. So we're at 40 degrees, so it's slowly, slowly warming up. Got that one down there. I do like the candlelight, but I keep putting my finger in here to test if it's warm and it's not warm yet. So I don't know how long this is going to take, but it should eventually work. Still snow there. If I had my Mr. Buddy heater, it would definitely be toasty by now and that would be melted. Oh yeah. Look at that heat come off there so she's finally nice and warm it took literally like 30 minutes at least to warm that up so i'm actually using the wider angle lens so i'm really hoping this looks okay because if this looks okay i will be using this in more videos i did try it outside but i didn't know what it looked like in the van so i'm gonna try eating this i just have to be really careful because the bowl is like super full 
I should have probably left it in that metal tin, but oh well. Hopefully it's not too hot here. I'll find out. Ooh, it's a little too hot. So this definitely worked at heating this up. Uh, I'm going to have to let it cool off a little bit here. We're up to 44 Fahrenheit in here, which is obviously still cold, which is why I have my coat on. But it was 32 Fahrenheit in here when we uh, got in here. So I shut the other window and then I shut this one more. It's still open. It's just not open as much. Guys, this is the craziest experience. Like every degree that it goes up, I get really excited for some reason. So hopefully you can see, but now it's 45. So like it probably takes, say it takes about eight minutes per degree. It kind of feels like, but it's like each degree I see it go up. I get like excited. I would love for it to get up to like 55 Fahrenheit in here. Then I'll probably have my coat off be cozy all the snow will be melted hopefully it has cooled off enough i think it's perfect now look at that guys Ooh, just from some candles well that soup was good now it's time to clean up My feet were getting real chilly, so I got inside uh, my sleeping bag here. Well, guys, the candlelight is beautiful, but uh, it has actually gotten colder now. We're down to 41. Took both of these and I hung them back up here. Because I was a little bit worried about bumping them tonight. But I think they should be fine over here. The temp went all the way down to 41. Now that I put these back down here. It's went up a little bit. We're up to 42 now. So still very cold in here. Um, these are definitely nowhere near what a Mr. Buddy heater is. This claims 5,000 BTU. Yet a Mr. Buddy on low is 4,000. It would be like 65 probably in here right now. Now it's 1,600. So this should be 6,600 BTU. But uh, it's only 42 degrees. So definitely not that much btu plus i also have that candle going too these things are just not putting off enough heat where it's worth it to me so i'm actually going to blow these out and just uh, shut my windows and put my window shades on and then uh, we'll try boiling some water with this in the morning and uh, have some coffee I'd rather uh, know nobody can see inside here and uh, know there's no possibility of carbon monoxide. If it would have made it nice and warm, I would have kept them on, but it's just not worth it. Ooh. 
sure you go grab your Tolbert's camping cup so we can have coffee together or your beverage of choice. She's hot. It's not boiling, but it's hot. So this thing definitely will warm up some water, boil some water if you leave it on there for a while. I took the top off, I didn't want it to boil. This straight burner one's actually pretty cool. Like I'm feeling some pretty decent amount of heat. It puts a decent amount of light off and then being able to actually like kind of cook or boil water or coffee is pretty cool. But to use it in a van of this size for actual heat source, you're gonna need probably like three, possibly four of them. The mini one, don't even use the mini one. That's gotta be for like people that are like out tent camping and they just want something super light, portable to like get a little bit of warmth, a little bit of light, and then maybe even warm up some coffee with it while you're out tent camping. I think that would be pretty cool. It's probably gonna take a while. Any of you guys like me, like you have to have your area really nice and clean to be able to enjoy yourself. Like I love the ambience, like lights and candles and stuff, but like if the area is just a mess, like there's garbage all over, I can't stand it. So like I instantly gotta throw the garbage away and then like I wanna put this away. I think it just needs to cool down a little bit more. You guys see this safe in the van? Hopefully you can see it's kind of dark but you can see there's a grizzly bear there and there's a wolf, but we're safe in the van in the middle of the woods. <laughs> you can see it zooming out there. I just gotta be careful I don't bump that wax. See how it keeps the wax in there? It's kind of a cool design. So it like forces the wax to stay as long as you don't bump it, which I did with the little one. Sorry guys, if this is another kind of shorter video. I just really wanted to try these out. I've seen them and some people claim they work super good. So just trying different things and kind of having a little bit of fun and you know, figured maybe this video would be a little bit interesting. Guys, there's just a lot of people showing up. So I am going to head out of here. So hopefully you guys had some fun, learned something and I will see you guys very soon. Peace.